This plant eats fungus gnats and fruit flies and other bugs too, so let's talk about it. And this is not a Venus flytrap or a pitcher plant. This is one called a sundew or drosera. Now, carnivorous plants are really interesting, and I think a lot of people are intrigued by them. But the reason why carnivorous plants actually need to feed on insects is because they typically grow in very nutrient deficient soils. So they actually get a lot of their key nutrients by eating bugs. Now, sundews are actually really cool because instead of a pitcher that the insects will fall into or a trap that will grab the plants, the sundew has these little hairs on these kind of tentacle-like branches. And at the tip of those hairs is a little sticky substance, which is why they're called sundews. And the insects are attracted to that. They get stuck to it. And then once it catches a bug, those little branches will actually curl up and it will digest that bug in the interior of the plant. Another thing that's funny to me is in a twist of cruel irony by Mother Nature, these carnivorous plants actually need to be pollinated by insects in order to be able to produce seeds. So the plant that eats bugs needs bugs to pollinate and they don't want to accidentally capture the bugs that are there to work for the plants. So what they do to get around that is they put their flowers up on these long stems or stalks so that way the plants don't attract the bugs to the wrong part of the plant. So they'll go up here where the flowers are and not get stuck down here. If you do want to keep a sundew at your house, they need really, really bright light, preferably direct sun for a minimum of four hours. And when you water them, don't give them tap water. The minerals in the tap water are actually bad for the plant. So you want to give them either distilled water or rainwater. Oh, and don't let them dry out. It's actually better to keep them in a tray with that rainwater or distilled water. That way they can just wick up as much moisture as they need. Anyway, this is a really cool carnivorous plant that is worth adding to your mix.